Hi there, my name's Alex. I'm one of the marine biologists that work here at Atoll Marine Centre. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about our Head Start program today. So unfortunately, a lot of local people here will keep hatchlings as pets. Um, and when they get sick of those pets, they'll come to us. So we don't take any eggs from nests, we don't take any hatchlings from the wild, anything like that. Unfortunately, there's plenty here uh, on the local islands that people keep and they get donated to us. So most of our turtles will come in at about two weeks old um, or older. If we get any really young ones in or if we get a lot in from one nest, we usually just release them straight back into the wild. It's where they're meant to be, it's where we want our turtles to be. Now unfortunately, a lot of our turtles have been kept in fresh water, which is really not good for these guys. They get infected as they get very weak and we have to slowly get them used to salt water again. So we'll add a little bit of salt water to their fresh water environment until they're completely immersed in full salt water and ready to join the other hatchlings in our tank. So let's go meet some of our hatchlings. So here are our established hatchlings. We've had all of these guys for at least two months. This little guy down here is Crush. He came in when I first came in uh, and a little boy brought him in. He actually came in yesterday to check on him, uh, which was really good, so the local people have come back, see how their turtle's going. Um, Crush was kept in fresh water for a small amount of time, so we had to rehabilitate him back to salt water. It's one of our great success stories. He's doing really well and he's got really big. And all of these other guys are ranging up to about four, five months old. And these two little guys are super cute. They're one of our newest arrivals. So I can divert your attention over to this bucket here. This is our newest turtle who's come to our centre. He's doing really well, he's really healthy eating all of his food. Uh, now we do have to keep him by himself in case he's got any infections. Sometimes turtles have eye infections and if he's sharing the water with all of our other turtles he might pass that on to our other hatchlings. So all the new turtles that come in they stay in a bucket for a week or two to assure there's no eye infection, fungal infection, anything like that. Uh, and then they get to join the rest of the babies in the nursery tank. So once our turtles are big enough um, or have run out of space, they need to upgrade to the bigger tanks. So in here we have Picasso, recently been promoted to this nice big tank. Here's Akiri, our next biggest hatchling. I'm not sure if you can see over here, but I've got little Taneo on the other side, who's doing really well over there. Now when these guys are about 18 months old, or a little bit over a year, depending how quick they grow, turtles grow all different rates. Um, they need to be about 3-4 kilos. This size down here, see some of our turtles. These guys are next in line to be released. We'll move them out to our sea cage, which is a big net in the water. This is where our turtles get used to the wild environment, coral, ocean currents, fish that will steal their food. So they get to make all those rookie mistakes whilst they're still feeding them. They also get a tan. Their shells turn green, they eat a lot of algae. Their skin will even start to go green or black from their tan. Uh, and then they're ready to be released after a few weeks. So that's all today on our Head Start program. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.